paying like 500 bucks, mm -hmm. something. Okay. So he's just sitting there talking with him. Finally, after 30 minutes, he was like, all right, let's do it. And I go, okay, perfect. Uh, Kim, these are the health questions here. Just ask him the health questions. Uh, you have a great rest of your day. I'm sure if you call in, you might grab me too. So I'll chat with you again here. He's like, all right, thanks, man. Okay. So I go walk to my desk and hang up my phone. I look back at Kim. She told him to go get his Medicare card. And I go, what are you doing? She goes, well, it says here on the quote engine, that's what I need next, his part A and his part B date. And I go, you don't even know if he qualifies yet. Like the one thing, if you want to get under my skin, if, you're, if, you're, if you want to pick a fight with me or anything like that, I, I ain't gonna swing, I ain't gonna throw hands. I will hate you mentally, <laughs> mentally. But is when people start applications before they either ask a health question or before they get the person on the phone. I just, those annoy me. Like nothing is worse than a hangnail, worse than something stuck in your teeth, okay? Because if you are doing the application before you even ask the health questions, they're gonna answer yes to something. That's what's gonna happen. And how do I know this? Because I've tried it. Because I've messed around and I found out I usually jinx myself whenever I do an application before asking health questions or being on the phone. Because when I do it, you know, you might think you're saving time. You're really not. You aren't. This is from my experiments here with it as well. Because if the person doesn't pick up, well, you just spent 30 minutes doing that. It's create a call avoidance. You know, if they do pick up and they answer yes to a question, well, you spent 30 minutes on an application that you can't spend out. Create a call you, avoidance. You can't do any of it. 